What is up, everyone? I'm Austin Smith, and you're officially tuned into another episode of Association All Access. Hey, we've got a special guest with me today. We've got Mr. Ben Miller, who is the director and 17U head coach for the Atlanta All-Stars. Now, this program, guys, I'll tell you right now, it has been a program that has continued to do well at our events, and we've enjoyed watching them perform as one of the better independent teams here in the Peach State. So, Coach, thank you again for your time with us today and being here. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Right. Honored to be here. Good deal. Good deal. Well, Coach, let's go ahead and get right to it. There may be some people who don't know much about the Atlanta All-Stars. Let's just talk a little bit about the history of your program. Who are some players that have played with you guys? Tell about how you all started and talk about maybe your best player you've had in the past before. Austin, this, believe it or not, will be our 25th year. <laughs> Been around a long time. Uh, so it started in about 97. Uh, and there were only a few programs back then. Uh, now, obviously, there's a, a program on every corner. Um, we've had some fantastic players, a um, few players that probably stand out that people know. Uh, Adam Flagler, uh, Evan Cole, Coleman Collins, Devontae Kaycock, who uh, just won a championship with the Los Angeles Lakers. So we've been fortunate to have some great players. Wow, man, that's pretty awesome, Coach. So, look, man, let's talk about Flagler for a second. I mean, you know, he has an incredible story. Got the offer from Presbyterian coming out. I think he went to Duluth, I believe, right, with Coach Huff. And, you know, he, Correct. he was able to go to uh, Presbyterian, did some time there, and then now he's at Baylor. And it's like you talk about a story of a guy who was under the radar but continued to work. Can you just attest his journey for a quick second? Just a, a fantastic young man. Uh, very, very humble. Works very, very hard. Trust the process. Stayed with it and, and ended up at, a, at an appropriate level. Uh, and he's doing very, very well. Uh, a, a terrific young man. One of the most humble kids we've coached. Uh, we miss having him. Sometimes I look down the bench and say, flag, where are you? <laughs> so, terrific kid. Very, very good young man. And, and that process, Austin, you know, is, it's very difficult for these kids. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, especially today with everything going on. Just recruiting can be so up and down. Uh, so it's difficult. We always say, hey, trust the process. Be patient. Absolutely. So I'm proud of him for sure. Man, I bet you are, Coach. What a great story for that young man. So, Coach, you've had a lot of success with moving players on to the next level. You know, I know there's probably no secret sauce, but there's got to be some sort of formula or way you've been able to do that, man. What's been the reason for your success in helping players get to the next level of their careers? Well, obviously, it's about our guys, uh, and that's something we preach all the time. Uh, it's not about the coaches. It's about our players, and uh, we try to be real realistic with guys, try to be upfront, try to be honest, try to place them in the appropriate places. Um, you know, the process one time is hard. The process several times, <laughs> if you have to transfer, is difficult. So we just talk about what we feel like are the expectations at the next level. And the intangibles, everybody can score the ball. Everybody's athletic. Everybody can play. What are the things that you can do to separate yourself at the next level? And then fit. Go to the right fit. Go to the, go to the right place. Go to the right offense. Go to, the, go to the school where the people around you are similar to you. Fit, fit, fit. Uh, we preach that like crazy. And, and I think that allows us to get people in the right, in the right places. Right. Good deal. All of that coach that man, it makes sense, man. I mean, you got to find the right place for you as a player. You got to make sure that you fit into that part of that program, man. And it definitely makes a ton of sense. So coach, like you mentioned at the beginning of the interview, you said you've been around for 25 years, right? That's like, I've been around longer, but, but our, our team has been around. That coach, man, listen, our program. You, you have a, that's an awesome track record to have. So We've been around that long, Coach. What changes have you seen along the way since you first started to now? <laughs> Lots of changes. Uh, changes in, in players, changes in parents, changes in programs. Uh, I've seen it all. Um, I tell everybody I'd like to write a book uh, one day, and I'm not sure who would buy it, but I, I would like to write a book. Um it's just, it's, uh, it's very competitive. Atlanta, obviously, or the state of Georgia is intense. Um, there's a lot of money involved. <laughs> Sometimes you have to fight through that. Uh, we pride ourselves on doing it the right way. Uh, I know that's a very general statement, 
but uh, that's very important to me. Uh, loyalty, commitment, and relationships are what we're about. And that's the name of the game for me. And there's a lot of outside noise. And as we've moved on over the years, it's gotten worse. Uh, but we do our best to focus on those three things because it's, it's definitely changed. The, 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 the level of competition is big time. Um, and there's many reasons, uh, different angles as to how and why people are playing in different programs. So we have to just be honest with, with who we bring into our program and, and tell them what we're really about. I don't, I don't know any other way. <laughs> Well, look, man, that the way you've done it, Coach, is, is one with integrity and one with consistency. I mean, anytime you do something for that time span, Coach, there's at the <laughs> core, it, it, it shows itself. You know what I mean? But you're either crazy or, 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 <laughs> or you really love it. One of the two. All right, you're right. One <laughs> of the two. So, Coach, you talked about your program, and this will be interesting, too. And on the flip side of it, you've been a stable at our hoop scene events for a time now. You all continue to show and prove and, you know, prove yourself as one of the better independent teams. What have you seen from hoop scene as far as changes over the years? Oh, gosh. You know, one of the reasons we enjoy coming to the hoop scene events is because of the professionalism, the organization, the detail, all the little things that if you've been around this process for a while, you realize when you go to different events, it's, it's not always the case. <laughs> when you walk in a facility and knowing where you got to go to do certain things, when you have somebody available to you to say, hey, where do I go and I need to do this? Where's my registration packet? You've got a schedule that's complete and it's early. Things don't change, you know, every half hour. Uh, everything's communicated very well. Uh, it's just the professionalism. Um, and, and we've been lucky to, to meet some really good people that we've seen over the years. Um, you guys have been tremendously good to us. And uh, we've tried to return and continue to be part of your events. Uh, kind of the same way we talk about with our organization. The, the loyalty and the commitment uh, are, are big things to me. And, uh, I appreciate you guys very much. Wow. That is awesome. Coach. That's pretty powerful right there, man. We're looking forward to having you guys. So coach, look, we'll wrap up with one final thing, looking ahead to the season. What can we expect from this year's Atlanta all-stars ball club? Well, <laughs> I hope that we can expect a group that plays together, plays extremely hard, uh, and that if the opportunity arises for coaches to be at events, that they'll be able to tell that, that, that our guys know how to play. A lot of guys can run up and down the floor. A lot of guys can shoot the ball. A lot of guys can dunk the ball. You know, can, can you read defenses? Uh, do you bring help? Do you do all the things that are important at the next level? And uh, hopefully they'll see that we have a group that plays hard again together, enjoys each other, uh, and most importantly, will we'll, we'll compete. Um, my personality, as many people know at Hoop Scene, <laughs> it's pretty aggressive. So if we don't compete, uh, that's going to be a difficult thing. That, that's, that's really important. Well, look, Coach, you keyed in on one big thing for me that I'm looking forward to watching players play specifically from your team as well, but competing, you know. And I know firsthand, man, you, you instill that into your guys, and that is another pillar of what makes you have the kind of success you've had over the years, man. So we're looking forward to having you. Well, Coach, thank you again for spending a few moments with us today. And for all of our viewers watching, you've been tuned into another episode of Association All Access. As always, I'm your host, but look, we were joined by a very special guest, Mr. Ben Miller, who is the 17U hand coach and the director for the Atlanta All-Stars. Coach, thank you again. We look forward to seeing you at this year's Best of the South. Thank you, Austin. I appreciate your time.